Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I recently returned from another trip over to Cape Disappointment State Park in Washington State. It is a popular gold prospecting area and usually when I visit there, it's extremely windy or raining or just a, not a very nice day. And uh, this last trip that I went there, everything was perfect. There was low wind, it was real sunny out. It's just a perfect day. So I decided to do a quick little sample video I'm just showing you guys, oh by the way, I filmed it in um, vertical mode originally, so I had to crop it down to make it viewable here on YouTube. That's why the, the angle's a little bit weird, but anyway, all I basically did was sample, do a, a little sample pan to see if we find any gold. And as you can see, it's actually very simple to find a little bit of gold that anybody can do with a gold pan and a, you know, a snuffer bottle, you can actually anybody can collect gold out there um, there are some new regulations and rules and stuff I don't know if they're laws or whatever but basically um, we are no longer allowed to use motorized or gravity siphon aquatic mining or discharge of effluent from such activity to waters designated under the endangered species act I don't know all that crazy legal work words I think it pretty much means you can only use hands and pans there. Um, I, you can use a shovel. Um, and also, another amendment to the law recently is um, you used to be able to not bring material off of the property unless it was processed. But according to what I found online, um, it does say that you can now take up to 10 gallons of sand per person per day for off-site prospecting. And that's contrasting the current rule that permits the transport of concentrates only. Even putting this in the chat GPT, chat GPT is, is telling me that it's it's contrasting the current rules and everything. So I, I apologize for confusing you there. I confuse myself on that. Basically, I think if you bring just a shovel, a pan, or just bring two buckets of sand back with you to mine at home, that's probably your best bet. Um, by the way, I'm not a lawyer, obviously. Uh, do not go by this video and say that, oh, Klesh told me I can do this. All I'm saying is, I go there with a gold pan and a snuffer bottle, and I've never had any problems, and I take material off-site as well, and never had any problems. Also, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to a brand new Major Credit Patreon supporter. We have Alexander Hill. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate the support. If anybody else would like to support the show, there are links in the description for Patreon and channel memberships. So anyway, um, it's a short video. It's going to be a little bit longer because of this rant. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Today, I am at Dead Man's Hollow here on the very extreme southwest tip of Washington State on the Pacific Ocean. And they call it Dead Man's Hollow because as you can see here, all sorts of things would get washed up here, including dead bodies. So that's why it was named that. And not only were dead bodies found here, but also gold. So I have my gold pan, a little shovel, snuffer bottle, and a little vial inside the snuffer bottle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can find some. So I'm just looking for black sand. Uh, black sand is heavier, which means that is where the highest concentration of gold would be. So you can see this sand here kind of looks just like there's some black in it. It's more like salt and pepper, though. Here we go. Here we have some nice black sand behind this giant log. Here's a really interesting piece of giant redwood. It's got all kind of awesome figure and stuff in it. Look at that. But right behind this log, I found some nice black sand that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pan some of that out, see if we can find some gold. So you don't need a lot, just a small amount, just to kind of test it to see if there's any gold in it. You can't really pan this much out at a time. This stuff is 
super heavy and the gold is mixed in very well with it. And it's, it's gonna be difficult to remove the gold from just this small amount. So I'm gonna head down to the water and pan it out, see if we get any gold. This place is really cool. Found some water right here. That'll work. All right, I wedged myself way back in these rocks here to try to get the least amount of reflection, but there's gonna be some anyway. Let's pan this back slowly see if we can see any gold. It's gonna be very, very small gold. If we find any. And it's gonna move along with this black sand. It's extremely difficult. This place is notorious for having some of the most difficult material to work. Magnetic separation is a very popular method of removing most of this black sand to make the gold recovery easier but yeah let me show you how small this gold is right there are two little specks of gold it's so tiny and as I wash this material back it leaves the gold behind because the gold is just a little bit heavier than everything else and I'm going a little bit aggressive here more aggressive than I should be still be able to see some gold here show you guys hopefully all right here's an example how small the gold is it actually looks bigger on camera than it really is it's just a tiny tiny little speck and there's a lot of it in here but I kind of pan that back pretty quickly but yeah Cape Disappointment Washington State the far southwest tip it's a $10 fee to get in here and you are allowed to pan for gold. And yeah, it's a good fun activity. So for that tiny, tiny amount of dirt that I panned out, that little bit of gold that we found is actually a very high ratio to material here. Uh, just look for the black sand, pan it out, take your time, unlike I did. And uh, you're not gonna get rich, but it's definitely a lot of fun. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.